All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I needed in my life right there. <laughs> the coffee followed up with the... Uh, just cough. Oh. <laughs> that caffeine, that's fucked up. It's not an addiction. You can quit any time. Of course, dude. Right after this cup. Never again. <sighs> I wish I could just, like, play a computer startup noise every time I have my first cup of the day. That's basically what happens every time. It's like, oh, there we go. Awake now. The thing that I don't understand about this event... So it's all around that Hatsune Miku character, and I get the glow sticks. Because it's a concept, but leaks. You never seen that clip of her spinning around the leak? No. Okay, so that's the context? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, like, don't get me wrong, I don't know anything about Hatsu lore, or whatever you'd call it. Right, but, but you're aware of the reference, at least. Yeah. There is a reference being made there. Right, gotcha. It makes sense. I'll have to look it up. Oh my god, of course. I don't know exactly what it was all about. I just remember early depictions of Hatsu, and she just has a leak for some reason. There's a song about leaks, apparently. What? Stealing vegetables from world famous Vocaloid. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely something to it. It's like a joke. Like, there's a Beat Saber mod. Where you just have leaks instead of the sabers. That's pretty great. I've yet to play a single game of Beat Saber. It looks fun, though. I, I have it I, on PlayStation VR, it's not bad. Unfortunately, I didn't qualify, so... Good luck. I think I'm fucked now. Yeah, well, <coughs> no one's qualified yet. Except West Virginia. Oh, no, nah, I think you're fine. Yeah, you're good. The only thing, like, that sucks with the PSVR is the new one's not gonna be backwards compatible, the games. Oh, really? Well, it makes sense. Is. Well, it makes sense because the old one works off uh, the PlayStation Move controllers, whereas in, the whereas in these ones, they're. It's more like, um. Like a quote. What's the. I forget the one that they do, but like. It's not quite to the extent of Valve's one, the index, but it's. It's better technology. It doesn't rely right. on light. It's actual just like sensors on board the uh, devices. I see. That does make sense. Yeah, so it's like. It's probably a responsibility of the developers to do it. But then that begs the question for like a game like Beat Saber would you have to. Buy it a second time. I suppose you would. They just call it the PS5 edition. Yeah, they'll just call it Beat Saber PS5 or something. Yeah. It's the only 
downside. I'm definitely interested in it. But we'll see how much it costs. Uh, looking around in my room, I think I actually do have enough room for a VR setup if I really wanted to go in on that. I'm not sure I have a huge amount of space, but I think enough to, like, be able to do certain games. Just not ones that are heavily active, I would say. Yeah. No, same. I think I have enough to, like, make it work if I really wanted to, though. Like, there's a few that you can sit down. Oh! No! No, please! Oh god, really? Well, shit. One of the rhino- one of the rhinos just decided it was my time. Yeah, it ha- I don't know, this one's more dangerous since they've removed the, uh... Barricades. They used to have upper ones that would defend you, and now, because there's those platforms, it's kind of like if you get thrown high enough, there's no way you survive. I had a weird kind of doppelganger moment the other day. Doppelganger moment? Yeah, I was talking to one of the new guys who's about to start working with us at the restaurant. Mm. And we looked, like, surprisingly similar. And we were, like, talking to each other, like, getting to know each other a little bit. And he just goes, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Like, he's just talking about himself. He's like, yeah, and then I, like, moved here from Hawaii. I was like, oh, shit, I moved here from Hawaii. He's like, oh, cool. We're, like, talking more about it. He's, like, mentions he's half Korean. I'm like, dude, I'm also half Korean. <laughs> It was the funniest conversation. We just kept finding similarities. Like I'm meeting an alternate version of myself or something. That's pretty funny. I have to kill him for his power now. <laughs> that can only be one. That can only be one. Oh, that's so much more straightforward. I can't tell if, like, I've overlapped people or if genuinely I'm this far ahead. Okay, I overlapped people. I did pretty well on that one as well. Yeah, some people did very bad on this one. Yeah.
Oh boy. Ugh. Thumbnail does not match anymore. Yeah, the fruit. The fruit fucking is real. Okay, I'm sorry. You can still do it. Patience, little luck. Ah! <laughs> Too far. It's alright. You got this. Yes! Oh my god. I think I found a decent strategy for that one. I feel like making it through the middle is pure luck, but if you go on the sides, you could possibly make it. It's just a shit ton slower, though. Yeah. I went up the side, and then I had to swap going up to the middle because it just kept getting hit by fruit. Yeah. You can kind of use the bouncy thingies to, like, hide behind to mm. avoid fruit, but... If a bunch of people make it before you, it's definitely pointless. Fast! <laughs> nice. Oh. Fucking damn it. It's alright, only two have qualified, three have qualified. Four. There you go. You're good. Some people are not doing well. <laughs> They've only gotten one. Yeah. Oh, man, this <laughs> Yeah, I know. This Among Us guy is having a bad time. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Like, that... That's not a button, bro. <laughs> Pure desperation right now. I mean, their name is xxdoofus underscore xx. Yeah. Accurate name is accurate. Oh, 
I think they will probably just put this one back to where it was. Oh no! Uh. Yeah, this one has a pretty high elimination rate. Jeez. Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> no, please! Oh, no. Ah! Uh. Bad luck. <laughs> Just seeing people get punted. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this one's brutal now. Alright. Yeah. Just need to survive ten more seconds. Frickin' Snoop Dogg. <laughs> it's another guy who's instantly recognizable every time yeah. you hear him. The voice, yeah. Do you like, uh, Little Dicky? Little Dicky? Uh, I haven't heard much of his stuff. Besides from, like, just All the, right, uh, right. common... He's kind of a comedy rapper, but he's actually pretty good. He did a song with Snoop Dogg that was pretty entertaining. <laughs> a streamer that I watch like, had, uh... The rap industry. A streamer that I watch had an, inter an interaction with the dude. Not in a good way. Like... Really? He was in line to get pizza, and the dude cut in line, basically. Yikes. Yeah. Just was like, yeah, I'm little dicky. <laughs> That's what I know about him, is like, he's a line cutter. Ugh. Not a great thing to be the only thing you know about a guy. Yeah, I mean, aside from some of the songs that would, you know, obviously went viral or whatever. But yeah, I mean. I heard his show is actually pretty good. I can't even remember, like, David or something like that. Hmm. Heard it's actually alright. Yeah, man, it feels like we're getting a lot of the same ones lately. I know. Oh, man, have you seen this video where, uh, they've edited... It's just a short one, but, like, they take part of the Avenger one. And it's just Hawkeye, but he misses every single shot he takes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have seen that, actually. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, dude.
Got him. Oh my god. That was a clusterfuck. Keep going. I'm trying to... Okay, the very last yellow is up the very back. Hey. Okay, cool. Survived. Me and one other person. Oh, these edits are great. They got another one where he's in Wii Sports Archery. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. My latest YouTube haul has just been a bunch of YouTube essays. Like video essays. Like retrospectives? Yeah, like just talking about like uh talking about like Star Wars and the new trilogy and all of that. Ah uh, yeah. That type of thing. I watched one on She Hulk because I was kinda curious. I haven't seen that yet. I still haven't either. I don't really have an interest to watch it actually, to be honest. Yeah. Got through. I'll start forward for me. Ah, oh, just go to the fan, man. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> you got it. Ah. Oh. That one can be so frustrating sometimes. Yeah. When I saw the trailer to it, I wasn't sure, like, what it was going for. It just seemed like... It seemed a little too heavy on the side of, like, oh, this is just a superhero banter TV show. Yeah. Like, it's That's just definitely didn't... the sense I got, too. Yeah. The video essay I watched on it made some pretty solid points, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, this finale. Cool. Hey, Virtual Hugging, what's up, dude? Yo, yo. Oh. Okay. Because we're duos, so it's a little more fair. Alright. Right. We got this. Split down the middle at the start, and we'll figure it out. I got hit by... Just, like, launched... Okay, it'd be on your side, most likely. There we go. Okay, straight up. You can probably dive onto this platform. No. I'm not sure you can. Maybe just try and find it. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah, you can, can, can. Okay. Ooh, I did not reveal it. Probably on the right hand side, to be honest. Oh! Yeah, a little latency. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, okay, so it's just down to two possibilities now. 
Okay, yeah, it's not that. That's the last one. I don't think we got this. Turn right. No. Okay. Nearly, 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 nearly. Got one more to figure out. Okay, hang on. Okay, this is solved. Yeah. Now... Oh! Okay. Come on, you can get this. Fuck. Don't overthink it. Okay, Don't it's overthink. all the way right. All the way right? Okay. All the way right. So, like, furthest right tile. Wait, is it here? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You, you can get it. You can get it. Oh, there's someone already at the middle. Fuck. If, if you don't get it, that's it. Nah. We are. We fuck. Yeah. Damn it. I do like that finality, though. Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah, I mean, it's RNG and you need to figure it out. <laughs> song is a classic. It is. It's just going to be funny that in the VOD that song's not going to be there and you just kind of <laughs> randomly break into song. It's like, what the fuck is going on? He's breaking down into California love. I feel like it's in character for me. Yeah. Man, I hate delivery estimates or like estimates that put this stupidly wide window it's like hey your thing is coming today and it'll be delivered within this eight hour time frame it's like okay yeah let me just not do anything today then yeah make sure to expect your package anywhere between noon and 5 p.m like <laughs> what yeah so what you're saying is don't leave my house for five hours, that's what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, exactly. I nearly took a job as an Amazon delivery driver before I found oh, this one. Oh, jeez, no. Yeah, I'm really... <clears throat> I've had horror Pretty stories. glad I didn't have to do that. Yeah. I mean, you do what you gotta do to survive, but I've definitely heard horror stories about that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Speaking of Amazon, how much do the drone drivers get paid? I don't know. Asking the wrong person. I don't think we have any drone stuff in Australia. I would assume okay. more than just delivery drivers, because that's like a specific skill, right? It is, yeah. I've heard in some cases drone pilots get paid pretty well, but I don't know. A part of me but, assumes for Amazon it would not be that great. No. For some reason. But I think it's something eventually it'll benefit them, just right now, because early days it doesn't. Yeah. Well, I've heard people who do like weddings and stuff like that do pretty well. Yeah, anything to do with a wedding, it's like immediately a 30% to 50% premium on top of a regular price. Yeah, that's true. 
It's kind of annoying. It's a once in a lifetime event. Might as well just spend a shit ton of money, right? Yeah, it's like, oh, so if I was having a birthday party and you were doing the exact same job, you mean to tell me it's gonna be 50% cheaper, but because I mentioned the word wedding, somehow that changes? <laughs> well, you have a birthday every year, man. Yeah. I mean, I get that a wedding can be more involved in terms of, like, the day. Like, I think you're there basically the whole day. But still, there's a premium. I think my future partner, hypothetically, would have to mm. be a very persuasive person to get me to throw some huge expensive wedding. Oh, I, I would never do a huge expensive wedding. It's like, I, I would... I know people that spend the equivalent of, like, a house deposit on a wedding, which is just insane to Oh, me. yeah. But that's just, like, bananas. Yeah. And, I, yeah, I'm more about, like, look, if you want to do something, that's fine, but, I don't, like, if we're gonna spend large amounts of money, I'd rather spend large amounts of money on us. Whether that be, like, a house yeah. deposit, or, like, if you want to take a trip somewhere, multiple places, down for it. But spending all this money on a single day, and then you'll definitely en end up inviting people out of, like, uh, I guess you feel like there's an obligation. Mm -hmm. That's, like, a fundamental thing that I... It's definitely, like, you need to agree on that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's why I'm saying, like, they'd have to have a very good argument. I think the argument would be literally, oh, that dad is paying for it. <laughs> and yeah, well, then I'd be like, all right, cool, it's not out of our pocket. Exactly. But if, like in the meantime, yeah. I'm more concerned about our actual future rather than blowing exactly. our money away. Exactly, one day. Okay. It's like, what does it signify? I think someone grabbed me, I couldn't get my jump yeah, off. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I would love to see a mode of this where grabbing is disabled and see how well people do. Yeah. Oh, we gotta, we gotta wait. I hate it, that's the one thing that I wish they'd fix in squads is kind of just... If your squad's out, just let us leave. It was secretly you, you grabbed me? Yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> I was watching someone that was getting stream sniped, and they blew up their webcam to cover the entire screen, and then they just ended up kicking the ass of the person that uh, was stream sniping, and then they're just yelling, Oh, it's hard, it's hard to win when you can't see what I'm doing, and just, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was great. Dude got so angry, but he kicked his ass. This is another thing oh God, I wish they did, where they detected proximity to the finish line, and if someone's not crossing it, just eliminate them. Like, a countdown begins. You have five seconds to cross the finish line, or you get kicked out. Yeah, with that one, I feel like it'd be easy as, like, you know, just having a countdown start right when the platform hits the end. Yeah, that one, yeah. But, I mean, the other ones is pretty much proximity to the finish line. Yeah. Damn, I haven't heard this song in a long time. Yeah, the felt good one. Those first two albums of Logic are really good. Oh, Does man. it did do you hear that, that fucking song you did with Eminem, Homicide? Yeah, and, uh... Oh, so good. They got the dude from... Fuck, what movie was it? But in the in the music video, they get the comedian Chris D'Elia to play Eminem, and, um... I can't remember if it's from, if it's from the... No, it's from the Sandlot Kids. Cause yeah, yeah, what that, shit, he, what is that guy's name? Fuck. Squints. Yeah. Yeah, they say that he looks like Squints from the Sandlot Kids, so they get the actor that plays Squints to, like, play Logic in the mu music video. And because Chris yeah, D'Elia 
did a a video where he's like imitating Eminem. They got him to play Eminem. Yeah, his fucking imitation of Eminem is actually so funny too. So so yeah. glad they like reference that. That's pretty good. No, but he, even like in the music video that he gets the mannerisms down as well. Mm-hmm. Such a good music video. Yeah. And the song itself too, just incredible. Yeah. Um, but to answer the question, it doesn't do that. I wish it did that. Just people being annoying. <laughs> Just... Like, I think if I was a game developer, I'd, I'd do it. I'd be like, fuck you guys. You want to be annoying? All right, here's a, here's a countdown timer. Ah, oh, that was just unlucky. Yeah, I mean, for context, like, we're talking about this stuff because we're listening to hip-hop music and rap in Discord as we play this. So you can't hear it. Because... DMCA. But that's the backing track to like what we're playing. This little device, this mixer, definitely one of the best bands I've done because it lets me do this. Oh, come on. Come on, Wait. man. I think one person disconnected. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this does not bode well for our squad. We've lost one. Yeah, I don't know. The one that's paid is this guy. They're not gonna, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. The moment they were on that, I was like, that. Yep. 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 Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yep. There you go. There you, there you there go. There you go. Good job, buddy. As bad as that was, imagine the other squads watching these people that are still good, still going out. I know. It's it's very difficult to play this game sometimes if you're doing squad mode and you're solo queuing. It just it's definitely a mixed bag. I just don't understand why people struggle with this one a lot. Like I know you can get unlucky <laughs> sometimes with the jumps, but. This stuff. I got that there'll be a percentage of people that play this in a kids, but I mean, I was good at 3D platformers when I was a kid. I got to dwell in Crash Bandicoot and Mario 64. Yeah, I mean, I guess in their defense, they're not growing up with a whole lot of platformers. Yeah. Whereas we had a shit ton. Yeah. They've got mostly like shooters and shit like that. It's true. Junk food gaming. I was mad good at Duck Hunt though. Dude. Were you aware that Duck Hunt was a two player game? Oh yeah, we had two light- well, I didn't have- it was, my friend had two light guns. No, no, no. Not the two light guns, as in, like... So, if player one has a light gun and player two uses a controller, player two can control the duck. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, dude. Yeah. There's no fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of those, like, childhood breaking How would moments. I not- how do I not know that? What the fuck? I I didn't learn about it until way later, when it didn't matter anymore, but it is a thing. 
And it's the same in um the clay shooter as well. You can decide where it comes from. What? Yeah. I literally never knew that. I wonder if it like said it on the original box or something. It might have been a thing that was in the manual and cause no one reads those things. Well, yeah, I just didn't even have it. You know, that's one thing I'm... I don't know if they have Duck Hunt on the Nintendo Online service. I don't think they do. Really? I'm pretty sure they don't. I'd have to check. But I guess it, oh. it might be like a technical thing where they'd have to remake it so it supports the pointers. It could probably be a huge pain in the ass. No, you fucking asshole! Yeah, they're, they're a grab as I'm like trying to stay in my own corner, not near anyone, because... Well, Alright, well it's all up to you now. It's on Once me. Again. Do you like, um... What's his name? Fuck. Hopson? Yeah, yeah. Listen to a bit of Hopson. Nice. I haven't heard anything from him in a while. I wonder what he's up to these days. Yeah. Fuck off, dickhead. I know what he's trying to do, he's trying to... Fuck me. Patience. <laughs> You're not happy with M. Not only did he release the Eminem show expanded with nothing new aside from instrumental songs. Also released Curtain Call 2, which is also not really new. Yeah, the one thing I didn't like about the Expanded Edition, they had the song Bump Heads on it. And instead of releasing the version that isn't, like, on one of those mixtapes, he releases the mixtape version, so it kind of has the annoying DJ intros in it. Yeah. But there was, there was a version of it that doesn't have it, and I guess didn't put it on. It's like, okay. That is fair, honestly. Maybe mm. he's just running a little dry these days. I think it's just the effort that went into the release, like, instead of picking the definitive versions of certain songs, which... Whilst they didn't appear on albums, there were ways you could get it. Just goes with a version that, like, appeared on a DJ compilation. I haven't listened to his more recent albums. Fuck. I think the last one I listened to properly was Recovery. There we go. Just get on the platform and just stand there. Like that one, stand on it. Don't, don't move. There you go. Yeah, I just kept landing on lower ones. Like, trying to transfer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Running dry and being a greedy bitch is different. Releasing two albums with nothing new isn't running dry. It depends who's doing it. That's the thing. Like, it might be the label that's doing it. Yeah, I was gonna and, say, maybe it's not up to him. And he just signs off on it. Like, I know he's on his own label, but like... It's still a... Subsidiary, I guess, of a bigger label. And the rights to those songs might be, like, with someone else. Dang. 
Took too long, didn't get enough points to get us in the safe zone. You recommend Revival? I think the reason I kind of stopped listening was just the production direction is very different in his newer albums. It's got nothing to do with the lyrical content. It's just, I think, I don't like the production as much compared to his earlier stuff. Kick me out of the party again? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, wait, we're not even in. Ugh, alright. Unable to create a pot. Okay. Nope. Uh. I might have to reboot the game. Alright, give me a sec. Oh, no. It's possible that there's a content update. It just gives me an error message anytime I click. It has changed. He has also changed, though. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with change. It's just, I guess it's kind of like it's not as much my style. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I think the version of Eminem I appreciate the most is just his earlier stuff, no matter yeah. what. But, I mean, it's fine that he grows as a person, right? It's nothing wrong with that. Oh, for sure. See if it's still broken. Okay, there we go. Jeez, that took a while. I used to freestyle to this track so much. <laughs> Just dipping. Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like Dr. Dre, right? Like, I like his old stuff, but then his new album, well, most recent ones, they just, I don't know. Like, they weren't, they didn't land for me as much as the others did. But that's just a preference thing. Yeah, I kind of haven't cared all that much about Dr. Dre in a minute, which is kind of sad to say. Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, I feel like even like Snoop Dogg, for example, is still pretty like popular, but I haven't been all that interested in his newer stuff no, in quite neither. a while. Could still appreciate him for his older stuff, but yeah, like we did it when he did a reggae album for <laughs> that at all. Yeah, and I like reggae. I think that's just it. It's like the natural progression of an artist is like eventually they'll make something that is different to what why you got into them in the first place and you kind of lose a bit of interest. Yeah. Because no artist can remain the same. That's the thing. Like you have to change. For sure. Hey, 
gotta what, gotta do what you gotta do to stay relevant, I guess. Yeah, that's just that. Hypothetical, can I stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time? Not sure. I know that um, Twitch partners are not allowed. I'm not sure about affiliates. I haven't looked into it. In terms of bandwidth, I might have to make a couple of adjustments, but I, my internet connection should be capable of that. I'd have to see if, like, OBS can do two outputs at once. I think OBS has a multi-stream function, does it not? I'm pretty sure it does, yeah. I remember briefly looking at it for a second a while ago. But I wouldn't do it. It's, I think it would be a case of, like, let me just put the attention on one for a particular game. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. Use it as a test bed. Yeah, man. I see a lot of people doing crazy multi-streams, like streaming on three platforms at the same time. It's like Yeah, man. and then you can't you're kind of addressing a chat that isn't there. Yeah, or you know, like I've seen people doing it too who are like only paying attention to Twitch chat. And it's like, yeah. well, all these people on TikTok and YouTube are trying to talk to you and you just don't see it. Exactly. It's like Kinda you can't it, you can't pay attention to everyone, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean from a hardware perspective, it would be the computer's encoding a feed and then it's just a matter of like pushing it to two um to two servers. Pick up the technical term. The technical term escapes me, but you know what I mean. As long as I have the internet bandwidth, it's doable. The other thing I've read is like you can stream at a higher bitrate on YouTube and it doesn't restrict you, which is... It's definitely better. Dang, that's nice if that's true. Yeah. Whereas in Twitch kind of caps you. Probably too expensive to give you control over that, right? Y yeah, I mean, that's always their rationale. It's like, oh, you guys cost us too much. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure when I'm going to try, but like... There's a bunch of stuff I have to look into and have ready before I do try it. If I want to give it the sporting chance. Yeah. I mean, it's no rush, right? It's... Nah. There's no rush. And I suppose if you're going to do it, might as well take the time to do it right. Yeah. I'm just not sure how people browse for live streams. Like, do they search for a particular game, or is it all channel based? Like, that's the part that I'm kind of. I need to do some research on. Yeah, I have no idea. I've been trying to familiarize myself with shorts too, just because I had no idea how that works on YouTube. But it seems to be more or less exactly the same as TikTok, pretty much. Yeah, there's two ways to run channels. Like, um, two of the streamers I follow, one of them does shorts, and the other one just does clips, which is. I guess just, um, just Twitch clips, more or less, and it works. Short form, I think, involves quite a bit more effort. Because you have to adapt it to that, um, different aspect ratio, like the vertical video. Yeah, you can't exactly just upload it as is and expect it to be good quality. Yeah, exactly. If you want to give it some production value, like, um, those, that editing style where people do those vibrant, um, subtitles that are sort, they sort of have, like, text animations on them. Like, if you're yelling, it shakes, for example. Uh -huh. It's definitely more involved.
Oh, I've, I've got him. Got in a very oh. shitty run. This thing refuses to come down. Nice. This, wow, this is bad. Finally. I'm not- I'm probably not gonna qualify. I got lucky I got in there really quick. Yeah, I thought it- I thought it was honestly gonna come down, that's why I waited, but... Oh, now- see, now- now when I'm hunting for it, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, let me- let me get down there. I'm not gonna qualify. This has been just horrible for me. Unlucky. Yeah, it is what it is. Tears, what this is. Oh, that guy's a sushi roll. <laughs> kind of yeah. want that. I think that was last season's um, battle part. Oh, doorbell. Finally delivery. Back in a minute. I'm now in control. Trending to live gaming, music, movies, etc., etc. Huh. Interesting. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. Did you qualify? I did, yeah. Good luck. So uh, I guess I haven't people... seen this in a second. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> man, that, I just have old man vibes, just someone explaining to me how YouTube works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Ah, uh, fuck. I watch YouTube, but not, like, in the, in the setting of, like, live content. Yeah, same. I guess I'd have to title the stream in a clever way. There's a lot of little things that I just have- I need to consider a bit more. The other one that I didn't think of was, like, moderation. If it's actually required now. Because, <laughs> for the most part, on Twitch we've been... okay without it. I mean, someone actively yeah. doing it. Yeah, I mean it make it makes sense. But I'm thinking of giving it a fair go like a month. As long as it doesn't feel like I'm starting again and like if there's positive movement in a sense of like maybe 
I don't know what the reporting period is, but I would say, like, what the average viewership is, and compare it to Twitch, and then, I guess, make a decision based on that. I suppose, to be fair, it would have to be, like, a couple of months to make sure it's not a fluke. <laughs> Ah, uh, bad luck. Dang, got kind of close. What really does it mean to start again? Yeah, I mean... To me, starting again would be like if I had nights where there was literally no one there. Which, that's, I mean, from what I've heard, the notification of when people go live on YouTube is a bit more jank than what it is on Twitch. So it's harder to know when someone's live. You have to do things to make sure people know you're live. Um, so I guess that's, that's the concern is like feeling like starting again. Or it goes from, like, having no one watching to, like, someone watching. Then the rest of it is just, uh, average viewership, I guess. Like, if that improves on YouTube, then it's probably better to stream on it. I don't know. I mean, what I have on Twitch has more or less been the same for the past two, three years, so. I guess, like, I'm just making sure that I'm not trying the same thing again and expecting a different result. <laughs> That's basically it. That's what I'm trying to be conscious of. I think it should be alright if the content creation side is like... I guess more designed around clips and shorts. Clips and or shorts. I don't know. Then... Should help. But then I think the other part of it is like I need to actually encourage people and be like, Hey, can you please go like, like and do all that stuff to my videos, please? Yeah, man. One of the things I've been thinking about in terms of like shorts for YouTube is like how to make a lot of them centered around like interaction. Yeah. If that makes sense, because I feel like that's the kind of thing people would see and potentially make them want to come to the stream because that would kind of be like the point, right? Or yeah. Or part of the point. So like how to pick things that show interaction and cool community stuff, but also are just good clips within themselves that are entertaining yeah. at the same time. It's kind of what I've been, like, racking my head about the last couple of days. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a strategy side to it. I think some of it is just, like, think about conversations we've had, or streams in particular. I mean, if you, if you remember certain conversations we've had, just ask me and I can try and piece together where that footage is. Yeah, I'll probably need your help with that for sure. Yeah. Times, like... Just to locate things. Most of the viewership on YouTube is in the US. So if I'm going to stream, have videos on the side that can boost growth because of videos. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing. Like, I know that I'd have to swap how I'm doing things quite a bit. I... To be fair, like, I I have the VODs channel and I do have highlight videos, but I only get to do them when I have time. 
Like, I'm not thinking, oh, I need to get one out. I haven't done one in, like, a week. It's kind of like, the highlights are whenever I get time, I do one. The VODs channel is under control because I've I uploaded a lot of footage from 2020 and 2021, and it's been scheduled to auto-publish for the next four months. Like, I can go without doing anything on that channel for four months, and there'll still be stuff coming out on a daily basis. But for the other stuff, it's like, yeah. It Good. needs to be more curated around what's... You can definitely have older stuff, but like, it needs to have more recent stuff. And it's just a big undertaking. Like, managing all that stuff, like, I... I don't want to spread myself too thin, I guess. When I get to that point, I can just get an editor. I mean, Lelo and I talked about this. Um, and straight up, the, if I was to get to the size where I can afford to pay people, it would be, that would be 100%, that would be the first thing. Like, editing, video editing. Because that's the thing that takes the majority of my time in terms of content creation. And it's probably one of the more important pieces to do right. So. In the short term, like, Lelo has offered to help, and, yeah, I mean, if he, whenever he has time, he'll do stuff. But it's by no means a long-term solution. I'll just have to entice him with chicken dinners, to be like, yo, Make me some content. <laughs> Taste uh, my chicken already, dude. So ready. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing that I need to I get over is just asking for help. But I feel like I just If I want to, like, push content further, I definitely have to ask for help, because it's not that I'm incapable of doing it, it's just I'm- I have a full-time job, and that's what keeps me afloat. Not streaming, and I still treat it in the hobby sense. So, like, to make the next, I guess, I wouldn't say push, but step in terms of streaming to, like, get more viewership and all that, I have to- do all that stuff, and it's just time. I wish I had more time. I really, really do. It's also energy as well. Like, sometimes you finish work and you don't feel like doing much except chilling. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely feel you on that one. Yeah. You're gonna learn video editing over this time. I mean, it can be fun. It can also be tedious, but... I mean, I have fun putting some of them together. It's good to go back through memories. I used to do a shit ton of editing. I think fun but tedious is a great way to put it. Yeah. It's very, like, rewarding, but... Yeah, it's fucking a pain in the ass sometimes. Yeah, man. I remember in what in I had this like a uh, media class in high school, and I became known as the sound guy because the audio just fucking took a shit in this like video, and I spent <laughs> literally an entire week just like resyncing the audio. Oh, no one my. else could do it, so they just started calling me the sound guy. But it was such a it was such a hollow victory. I felt like shit afterwards. I was like, man, yeah. I just spent a whole ass week fixing audio for one video. Yeah.
I mean, the technical skills behind video editing aren't the thing. It's more the creative aspect of, like, having a theme, I guess, to the video. Or, like, I mean, honestly, like a story. <laughs> a lot of them just tell a story. Well, there's just clip compilations. Those aren't bad. Yeah, have you ever watched, like, uh, Wellens videos? A couple. Yeah, he's, an ed he's got an editing style I've always appreciated, because he always tells, like, a coherent story. Yeah. Like, even though I don't care about Rust, I still watch his Rust videos because of the way he, like, tells the story. I think that's the hardest thing, is just getting a style. You love that guy? Who, Wellen? Yeah, Wellen's pretty cool. Still debating on, like, maybe taking a week off work to kind of plan this stuff out properly. Probably not a bad call. Yeah, I mean, just to give it a fair run. Part of me also wants me to follow, like, my own advice that I gave out to just, like, not overthink it and just try. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's kind of like when people want to first stream, they want to get, like, a elaborate setup with a really good microphone and everything, and you don't need it. Oh, yeah. I definitely went through that the first oh, yeah. time around when I was starting to think about streaming. I was, like, overcomplicating it way too much in my head when... Really, what I needed to do is just do it. Just, just do it, yeah. And I might be a little guilty of that right now. Oh no! No, <laughs> damn it! It's okay. I win. Hey, let's go. <laughs> as long as one of us won. Yeah, exactly. What matters? Such little progress. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm yeah. the same hugging. I don't really care about Rust or Ark. I do play a bit of Tarkov, though. I do like Tarkov. That game is. That game sucks your soul away, though. I've seen you play it a couple times. It's funny. Yeah, that's probably one of the games I'll stream every now and then when I come back, whenever that happens. Because, like, yeah, it's soul-crushing, but it is entertaining. <laughs> Pretty much no matter what, because of how soul-crushing it can be. 
That sounds like Splunky to me. Yeah, there's nothing quite like the feeling of, like, losing a bunch of expensive shit you can never get back. <laughs> because, like, uh... some asshole in the woods just sniped you from a mile away or something. Jeez, it's taking a while to load. It is. I think Rust would make me lose my mind. I don't think I'd enjoy Rust if I tried it. <laughs> you know, like, can you imagine logging on and, like, this base you spent a week building is just gone, gone. and all the shit yeah. you know, is just stolen? Like, I th I would lose my mind. I'd become an angry, angrier person than I already am. I just don't like that conceptually. It's like, oh, what's yeah. that one... I think, I think it's Ark, but the, there's one where, like, I've heard that people, to get a dinosaur to hatch, they have to, like, guard the egg for a ridiculous amount of time. Oh, yeah. Um. That they take, like, the clans take it in shifts, basically. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. That's a bit much, man. And then, even then, when the thing hatches, it, like, doesn't survive as well as it should. Dude, apparently, one of my friends, uh, for a little- for a minute there, was making for real money off selling dinosaurs and shit to people, which I just find fucking hilarious. <laughs> you know, because of how much of a pain in the ass the process to make a dinosaur is in that game, people are yeah. literally willing to spend actual money on them. Yeah. Not uncommon. It's no different than people selling Diablo items because some of them are just really stupidly rare to find. Yeah. That's another game I don't really have any interest in whatsoever. Hmm? For whatever reason, whenever it comes to dinosaurs, I cannot take it seriously. <laughs> ah. Really? Yeah, anything anything dinosaurs just fucking cracks me up. I just immediately view it as comedy. I mean Vin Diesel. Yeah, and it's not like I didn't enjoy, like, Jurassic Park and shit back in the day, but it's... I don't know. It just brings uh, my mind immediately to little kids playing with toy dinosaurs, and it's just, like... <laughs> and I can acknowledge the idea of dinosaurs having existed at one point in time, and, like, them being really cool creatures and all that, but just generally, the theme of dinosaur cracks me up. I can't take it seriously. Humans and dinosaurs, or just dinosaurs? Yeah, human, yeah that's probably what it is. Yeah. Dinosaurs in situations they don't belong in. Do you know what it is? It's like, you just get Flintstones vibes. Yeah, that could be it, for sure. I did watch a lot of Flintstones back in the day. What about, like, space science fiction, but then they arrive on a planet that is still sort of in that Jurassic period? So it's like a crossover of the two. Is that disconnect still I don't there? know. I think so. I'd have to see it to know for sure. Well, I mean, like, okay, if it like... happens and I immediately start laughing, then yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Because I'm sure there's, like... I haven't seen all of Star Trek. I've seen a little bit of it. I'm sure there's some sort of scenario where they're on, like, a planet of that description. Yeah, I would assume so. There's been lots of Star Trek episodes. I wouldn't be surprised if at least one of them had space dinosaurs. <laughs> space dinosaurs. See, like, just See, no, space that, dinosaurs. That, that, like, that, that sounds, sounds fucking funny. ridiculous. But they're not really in space. They're just on a planet. It's kind of like space dinosaurs. Well, yeah, to I me mean, I guess like our dinosaurs on, like... were also space dinosaurs in that sense, but you know yeah, what I mean. Well, yeah, it's like. They're on the planet, so I wouldn't classify them as space. If they're yeah, on... I guess space dinosaurs kind of insinuates they're like floating around in space, which is also hilarious. Or just like piloting aircraft somehow, <laughs> <laughs> like a starfighter. <laughs> oh god! You see what I mean? Like I cannot anything dinosaurs just immediately loses any sense of seriousness for me. Did you ever watch that, uh, Jim Henson show back in the 90s called Dinosaurs? Oh god, no, but I've heard of it. Yeah. It was like, The Simpsons, but dinosaurs. Yeah, I heard that show was actually kind of good. And it was that, good. Uh, like, the but, ending was really, really depressing. Dude, the ending was, like, one of the darkest things I've ever seen in a yeah. kid's show. Like, it was depressing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is about dinosaurs and people making depressing content after him, but, like, Land Before Time literally yeah. opens with Littlefoot's mother dying, so it's Yeah, like, yeah, but, I mean, that's like a Bambi thing. Yeah, but, I mean... <laughs> Dude, if you want a cartoon that, that didn't fuck around, there was this cartoon that aired, um... in Europe, Australia, and Canada. Didn't air in the US, but you can find it. It's called The Animals of Farthing Wood. And the whole thing is, like, you follow a group of animals, um, you know, they have their own relationships and whatnot, and the premise is, like, their forest home was destroyed by humans, and so there's legends of another forest that they try to travel to. So they're going through, like, suburbia and, like, brushlands and stuff, trying to get to this new home. And along the way, right. just a lot of them just die. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Like ridiculous, and this was a this was a TV show that aired for for kids, man. Like under the age of ten, yeah. I watched it. Dude, cartoon. Oh, fuck, this makes me feel like such an old man saying this, but cartoons in our day really did hit different. Yeah, like, they like had... I remember seeing this video compilation of like I think it was called like Looney Tunes isn't disturbing or something like that, mm. and it was just all these old clips of like Bugs Bunny and shit, and like those old cartoons being really just low key disturbing out of nowhere. Yeah, I was like, man, I remember some of these episodes, and I literally didn't think anything of it. Yeah, yeah this, this cartoon shit. They don't air them anymore. It sounds like a weird version of Animal, Animal Farm. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like Homeward Bound, a, a, a Homeward Bound, fuck, <laughs> I got knocked out immediately, um, like a Homeward Bound style journey, I guess, but I guess along the way, like, some of the main characters die to other predators, for example, that they encounter, or like, just, again, they interact with humans and their actions causes some of them to die. When, when they're escaping, the initial the initial escape from, like, the humans destroying the woods, a lot of them die. That's how, that's how messed up it is. Like, you get introduced to these characters, then there's this, this thing with the humans, and then, uh, yeah, they try to escape and some of them don't make it. That's, man. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it was making it was making a point, like it was a pretty uh, interesting show. Oh, I fucking love Ninja Sex Party, by the way. I just saw that. 
Hm? No, no Hugging fighting. was just mentioning the dinosaur laser fight song. Oh. And then gotcha. just takes part as a band. Yeah. yeah, that one over my head. Yeah, I remember um, my grandma almost like forbade me from watching Courage the Cowardly Dog at one point. Really? Why? Well, because she watched, she was like kind of passively watching one of the episodes when I was just like hanging out in her classroom. After she was, like, done at work, you know? That's the only time I had cable, right? Because she, like, yeah. worked at a school, and the TVs there had cable. And she was just, like, disturbed by what she saw on the screen. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I guess because it was a little bit gross out humor, that one. Yeah, I mean, well, Courage could be legitimately disturbing at times, too. Yeah. We, we were banned from watching The Simpsons for a little bit. <laughs> At very young age. I guess that kind of makes sense. Just because, um... When we got into fights, like, I think one of us had the habit of doing, like, the throat grab. And then when it stopped, it was like, yeah, okay, go back to watching it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty reasonable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the other one, like, Ren and Stimpy, they just thought it was, like, just trash. Like, brainless. I don't have that opinion of the show, that's just what my parents said. Grandpa was taken by the mermaid. I remember that episode. That is a good example of a creepy episode. Yeah, I definitely remember I had some moments. I didn't watch a lot of it, but... Um, there was... It, whenever it was on, I would try to catch it. Yeah, but on the other hand, that era of cartoons was so cool. Too, because they always would do. I remember Courage and Scooby Doo did a crossover movie one time. Fucking oh, cool. really? Huh. Yeah. It was like Aliens or something like that. I can't. Re <laughs> I gotta rewatch that movie at some point. That'll be a nostalgia injection for sure. Yeah, I mean, all the Cartoon Network originals from that era were pretty good. Yeah, I remember the woman's name was Eustace, Eustace something like that. Yeah, it I don't was remember like the grand the dude's name either. I just remember him going, "Stupid dog." Yeah. I mean, that in itself, the way he treated Courage was probably not a great. No, no. <laughs> great example, but I mean, it's not like the show was trying to make light of it. Like, they made it clear that it was bad that he treated Gurge that way. But yeah, still. always got comeuppance for doing it. Yeah. Well, this has not gone well. I mean, in that era, I think my favorites were um, Ed, Ed and Eddie and Dexter. Yep. Yeah. Dexter's Lab, man. Such a good show. Honestly, I actually really enjoyed, like, Powerpuff Girls and shit like that, too. Yeah. I would have never admitted that as a kid because it would have got me bullied, but <laughs> it was a good show, man. Yeah. The Jetsons, yeah. Jetsons, like, classic Hanna-Barbera, though. But it was on, like...
I remember a show, the show, uh, did you ever see Kids Next Door? That was like right at the tail end of before we Yeah, it was like right the at cable. the end. Yeah. Yeah. So I, di- I caught a little bit of it, not much. Yeah, it was very late in that era of cartoons, but it's still like barely in there. Yeah. It was a pretty good show, though. Dude, the one classic Hanna Barbera cartoon that I liked watching was uh, the Wacky Racers. They were fun. I don't think I ever caught that one. It's so. It's just yeah. The TV premise is like they're they're a race and there's different cars. Um, and there's some recognizable Hanna Barbera stuff, but most of them they're original characters. I think the main two were, like, Dick Dastly and Muttley were in the race, and always trying to, like, cheat. Oh. Yeah. It's a pretty decent show. I liked it. The one cartoon that pissed you off, The Annoying Orange. I never saw that, but I saw all the internet stuff around it. Yeah, I remember the YouTube channel, but I never did see the show. I heard about it and I thought it was referencing some other show that I... It, was, it wasn't really a show, it was like a collection of animation shorts. Um, and Orange just happened to be in it. But hmm. it was called Soup Opera. And it was stop motion animation. And it was just... Uh, a sh- very short song they would play, and then they would animate fruit and vegetables using stop motion. Oh. Yeah. You Man, can I find remember them some on weird YouTube. ones at the tail end of that generation, too. This is a show called Lyoko. Like, all the characters had, like, giant heads. The animation was really weird. Veggie oh, Tales. No, no. I kind of missed the Veggie Tales train. No, no, it was called Soup Opera with an E. Um, here's a playlist. They're very short. It was just stop motion animation, and then all of them had the same structure. Like an opera singer singing soup opera. And then they would play like a a beat. Yeah, this was <laughs> not to sound old, but this was well before your time. Like I watched this when I was a kid. But when I heard about the annoying orange, that's what I thought people were talking about. Cause there was like an orange in it that they animated quite a bit. I'm having bad luck here. Ah. Yeah, I know I keep getting robbed. Okay, there we go. Ah, that was a very good comeback. Come on, just give me one more. You got time. Oh, ah, there was one behind you. <laughs> you didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. There's one just behind it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Annoying Orange was a YouTube channel originally. Yeah. It's like the same thing as like Fred back in the day. He just got a TV show because he blew up so hard on YouTube.
again this one. Kind of surprised at getting this one. I want to see the drawing one. <laughs> it's been a while. It's Maybe kind it was of weird that in so many games we haven't seen it at all. Yeah, I mean, it leads me to believe that it's part of a limited event, but then the other maps from that set are there. Oh god. Yeah, I tried not to screw you over too hard there. You're not gonna watch any more of those. <laughs> <laughs> you're, wa you're just watching them back to back? I mean, they're pretty good. When you talk to any kid that grew up in the 90s here in Australia, like, they'll... You'll mention Soup Opera and then they're like, Oh, yeah, that shit. <laughs> You watch one and decided, no, <laughs> didn't have a magical childhood, clearly. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Time to be a dickhead. Be warned, there's a massive hole in the middle that I'm making. Yeah, I see you down there doing that. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> there's three of you just... That man signed all of three of our death warrants. Uh, man. Unfortunate. Bad luck. Yay, more useless currency. Mm. The song's a fucking vibe. Yeah. Damn, yeah, boy, he's thick. <laughs> Long boy. Ah. Oh. That's I'm a sure you, thick I'm ass sure boy. When I kid like Long Boy, just makes me think of the Long Man commercials. Long Man Comer? Excuse you me? You haven't seen Long Man? No. Oh, uh, dude, it's like, it's a saga of these, um, Japanese commercials. How have you- You haven't seen Long Man? Okay. I, like, that is, uh... I- I will- I will watch this, um, yeah. We're, we're watching this. <laughs> Content! <laughs> I thought it was it was very well known, but it it's a very good series of commercials. Don't watch it yet. <laughs> I'll put them on. We're in a locked chat. Yeah, because we don't want everyone joining. That's the thing. This one is specifically for the live stream. It's not like the Discord streams where everyone's free to join it. This is, like, controlled. So people don't pull out, Hey, look, I'm on TV. I will- I will show Long Man. <laughs> I 
All right, Lelo, speak about yourself. Ah! That is the request from Virtual Hugging is, tell me about yourself. Uh... Okay. <laughs> well spoken. So, I like long walks on the beach. Uh, I am a hardcore advocate for pineapple on pizza. Fight me. Nah, I grew, I grew up in Hawaii. What? Yeah, that's, that's, he's, he's just speaking nonsense. Don't listen to any of that. <laughs> but I grew up in Hawaii and just recently-ish, a few months ago now, moved to Washington. So that's where I am now. Uh. I used to stream quite a bit as well, but I need to get big cat back into it. Uh, I'm a drama kid, did plays and stuff, I sing, that's the yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. <laughs> Something about a dildo the stream is cutting out. <laughs> I don't know, I, don't, I didn't hear anything about a dildo, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, shit. Must have been a slip of the tongue or something. Oh no. I can't, I can't believe you haven't heard of Long Man. That's... wow. Maybe it's one of those things, if I saw it, I would recognize it, I, but... I think you'd recognize it. I'd be shocked if you haven't seen it. It did the rounds. Let me look for it whilst it's loading. The game will be muted for a minute, because when you alt-tab... I was saying I was a drama kid, but funnily enough, I was also... Accurate. Except for the dildo thing. I don't know what that's all about. Growing up in Hawaii, it's arguable to say my whole life was a walk on Wait, did you just cut out? Did I? <laughs> to me, I just heard my life in Hawaii was just a long walk on the... And then it cut out. <laughs> <laughs> on the what? <laughs> Long walk on the what? <laughs> <laughs> what did you take a long walk on? In the context of Hawaii, what do you think the last part was? Uh, s spam container. Okay, alright, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be quick on my face. That's a there. very Hawaii-specific joke. Yeah, I know. I shared Hawaii knowledge with you in confidence, man. How are you doing this to me? To be you? fair, I knew about Hawaiian spam before, like, I talked with you. Uh... <laughs> Wait, how? Is that just common knowledge everywhere that Hawaii spam? It's one of those things that I don't know how I know it. But I know it. I'm not sure how it would have come up. Are you sure it was before you met me? Because I no, feel like I'm your main Hawaii def connection right now. Definitely. Because I've had the conversation about spam. And I've brought up the fact, like, oh, did you know that in Hawaii they love it? Hmm. And it's one of those things that's a piece of information that I don't know where I got it from. It's just like, um... Weird. In Mandarin, the term guailo. Like, I don't know where I learnt it. But I know... I know it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's. I know it's not like necessarily underground knowledge, but I didn't know it was like common knowledge. You know, I don't think it's common knowledge. Know it's just one of these things that somewhere along the way I learnt it somewhere, and I don't. I wouldn't be able to tell you where, and my brain retained that information. Also, 
raid raid chat. As I feel like you need to feel the impact of it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't see anything out of place there. <laughs> Why are you Hawaii people weird? Weird. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> We're uh, not weird. I mean, look, man, if you grow up on a tiny pebble in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, you'd be kind of fucking weird too, all right? There definitely is a historic reason for spam, specifically. Everything else I can't really speak to. This one is brutal. Yeah, I'm not going up the side. Like, that ruined me once. Ah, oh, you dick. <laughs> okay, but we will watch Long Man once this is over. I have it prepared. I would recommend going up the side here, instead of waiting for the elevator. Ah! Uh, damn it. I should have said it sooner. Okay, so long man, right? For those of you that don't know what it is, it's a series of commercials. That's all I'm gonna say. And it has a plot and everything. Okay. Let me get it on screen. I can't believe people haven't heard of it. Like, I thought this was more widespread than what it is. Alright, check it out. <laughs> Long, long, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wait. ちゃんは長いのが好きなんだね。別に意識してるわけじゃないけど。気のせいか。ああ。ラン、ラン、前。ディ、ディセイザフェイムよ。前にも言ったね、あの長い人。サケル君みたいに長い。サケル君みたい
くてこいつなんだよそれはおあそうかいよごけりゃいいのかいビロのビロやめてグミが騒いだビロよ That's so weird. I'm showing it. Well, I mean, I had to provide context to it. Like, what do you want from me? I talk about the long man commercial and. I have to show it. I have to provide context. Do you not appreciate the size, the girth? さけるぐみたい長い。さけるぐみ。ちょっと。ちいちゃん聞いてもいい？何？プロポーズってどんな風にされたい？え？正直に言ってごらん。フラッシュモブは嫌かな。え？なんかこっぱずかしいし、フラ
like notification on Twitch for when someone follows you or someone subs. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. I have wasted five minutes of your life. Well, wouldn't be the first time. Certainly won't be the last. <laughs> Japanese commercials are the best, dude. They are. <laughs> that one just has great continuity. I mean, is it any worse than, like, the coconut discussion? I don't think it is. At some point, there will be something that derails the stream for a little bit. <laughs> it's just a given. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah, but I guess now, with this knowledge of that commercial, you can go expose someone else to it. I wonder if they sell those. The gummy, yeah. I really want to get one of my hand, my hands on that. Yeah, you could probably get it. I'm sure you could get one of those companies that like import snacks. Oh yeah, basically what I'm saying is those commercials worked on me. I want one now. Yeah, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, torment your friends. Tell them I sent you. <laughs> oh, I might not. I, I might actually not make this one. Yep, didn't make it. Bad luck. You'll think about it. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't forget to smash that like button if you want more brain rot. Speaking of funny Japanese things, have you ever seen that old video where the guys are like rolling different size tires off the ramp to see how far they launch? Yes, that's a fucking classic. I love that's that one. That's a fucking classic it, it, video. It that one. makes me laugh every time because they have yeah, the lab that coats one, exactly. on. Exactly. <laughs> it's so good. It's like a weird Japanese myth busters. Yeah. Yeah, the way the biggest tire just smashes straight through the ramp has yeah. me crying every the, single time I it's see a, it. It's a juggernaut, like it's unstoppable. Yeah. And just the dude at the bottom of it trying to stop it with like a <laughs> <laughs> like it's just, it's all it's almost like Wily e. Coyote holding the tiny parasol as the boulders about yeah. to destroy him. Does fucking nothing but like okay. It's yeah. great. It's, that video is just, like, pure comedy. Everything about it is hilarious. Like, yeah. down to the fact that they're all wearing, like, lab coats and shit. What video is this? It's a pretty old video. From a YouTube point of view. But all it is, it's, it's some... Japanese TV show that it kind of looks like it's a little Mythbuster-like. But the whole thing is, they're at a ski slope. And they, uh, roll tires down the ski slope of different sizes. To see how far they jump, or going off the ski slope. So, I mean, I watch it now, but it's gonna like eat up quite a bit of time. That's just yeah, derailing it's kind of a long it even one. more. It's kind of a long. Just kidding. Kind of a long, <laughs> long. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long one, man. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a long video. But it, it's great. It, I watch it every now and then. A couple of years pass, and then every time I watch it, it still makes me laugh. Yeah. Jeez. Fuck off. Okay, let him let him do that thing. Let him do that thing. Oh my god, is that a fucking ninja costume? Yes, it is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, this round wipes out quite a bit of people. There's also the classic one, um, the one they do, which is Don't Laugh. It's the weird game show one. Mm. Like the dude trying to pronounce Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> and he can't. Or like he's trying to do, um, he's trying to read numbers in English. No, he's, he's trying to, like, count in English and doesn't know how to. So it's normal. But then when he gets to 20, he says 10-10. <laughs> then it's like, 10 10 one 10 10 2 <laughs> Yeah, when he gets to, to 30, it's 10 10 10 Oh, God. <laughs> Man, so many game shows... Like... So many Japanese game shows are so good. They are, yeah. Like, do you ever Hole in the Wall? Uh, I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, it's so great. It's literally just like, they set up this whole setup where this wall just like comes toward gates. Like, oh, cut into yeah, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, shit's yeah. so entertaining. And then America they... took it and ruined it, of course. Yeah. The American version was ass. Like, it was still entertaining, but just, you know, America did what they do with it, with yeah. everything. Takeshi's Castle as well, like the classic. Yeah, that shit's great. Did you ever watch uh, Silent Library back in the day? I saw clips of it. Not a full episode of it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's another really good one. There, wasn't, uh, there was a show that used to air in Australia, um, or it just went through weird TV programs around the world, and the Japanese ones were great. I don't know the game show, but there's one where, like, so they're out in the, in the cold, right? And they're doing rock, paper, scissors. Mm -hmm. And the one that loses gets some, like, a bucket of wax thrown on them, basically. So, like, this poor guy, he loses twice, and when they're doing the third one, like, he can barely move his arm, it, it comes down so slowly because the wax <laughs> is slowing, it's slowing him down to the point where he literally can't move his, uh, his arm down fast enough to throw, like, what he needs to throw. Oh, man. I wonder if I can find it. I 
Mm, not sure if this is the one. Oh, dude, some of these game show pictures are mental. <laughs> Just go down a rabbit hole of these game shows. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Or I guess I don't need to tell you, but Japanese game shows is a great is a great rabbit hole. I would I would keep Netflix if they just offered just Japanese game shows. Can you imagine? Like that would be just so much entertainment. Oh yeah, it'd be fucking awesome. I'll have to see if I can dig it up at some point, but Ah, uh, that made me laugh. Ah, oh, yeah. The glue trap one is pretty funny as well. How they just jump onto like something that's basically flypaper. I wonder why we don't do game shows like that. Probably because... It's not because people don't have shame. Like, that's... I don't think that's it. Well, yeah, I think in America, anyways, they think about making money. Yeah, true. The entertainment factor of the show. Whereas it seems like Japanese game shows literally are only... Mainly thinking about just how entertaining it's going to be to watch. Making you laugh. Have you ever seen Wipeout? Yeah, yeah. Like, that show's pretty good. It's like a modernized version of Takeshi's Castle. Yeah. It's, it's honestly like what this game is based off. Pretty much, yeah. I just remember back when uh, it was being hosted by the dude from Top Gear. It was just legitimately entertaining. Yeah. Like all the dumb jokes they would make and stuff definitely added to it. Did you ever catch the Americanized version of Takeshi's Castle? Nah. I remember seeing it, but not really being interested. They just, like, tried to give them, uh like plot points and stuff like they'd make up office names and everything oh yeah With just two dudes like doing the, the voices for everything there's a channel on twitch that it broadcasts at 24 7 i think it's still around oh yeah i remember hearing about that yeah I'm still low-key looking for this show in the background. <laughs> uh, I got to be. Uh, this is like me and stream treats. <laughs> Just become distracted. <laughs> Just become distracted. Yeah. Yeah. Japanese game show: rock, paper, scissors, wax, bucket. Hmm. I mean, they got the one where, like, you have to do rock, paper, scissors, and then if you lose, you have to protect your head with a bucket. Because the other person will smack you with a ruler. A long <laughs> one. <laughs> but I can't find the one I'm talking about.
Ah, no. Oh, this is not good. Too big a crowd here. Ooh, I might not qualify. I don't think I'm going to either. I mean... Damn it. Yeah. Both out. Yep. Bad just luck. A yeah. yeah. I definitely think some interesting content would be to like watch some of these YouTube videos. <laughs> in a Discord call. Oh yeah, man. I definitely have a good amount of stuff to contribute to that. Yeah. That's something I know lots of streamers do that thing to yeah, kind exactly. of like a reaction stream. Exactly. Like they sit down with like a buddy and just watch some YouTube videos. Oh yeah. I've got YouTube gold for days for that. The one that I used to share quite a bit back in the day was the uh, the grapefruit technique video. Ah, uh, shit. Probably wouldn't be able to watch it. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe not. I mean, there's not, like... It's not that it's... Ex it's definitely not for kids, but it's, it's kind of like... It's not porn, technically, but it's, like, sexualized content. <laughs> uh, speaking of porn, have you ever seen that, like, that video of, like, this one porn? It's, like, a clip from an actual porn video, but it's, like, a fucking... The intro to it, the lore, quote-unquote. It's just, like, this dude in, a in like, a hot tub or something, and, like, mm. the chick is, like, a lifeguard. Have you ever seen that one? No. I, it oh, might ring a bell if I see it, but, like, I know there's some very... Terrible porn lore. Oh, yeah. Like, that would, that would be a great one if you could, like, condense it down, just cut out the part where they fuck, obviously. Oh, just yeah. Get, get, like, just right before it happens, just, like, how do they go from A to B? Just the segue into sex. Oh, yeah, that one's great because it's, like, kind of self-aware. Right. Like, it's just being purposefully fucking ridiculous, you know? This, like, chick comes in and is, like, talking about safety and sharks and shit, and the guy's like, Lady, I'm taking a bath. <laughs> this isn't the beach. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no. It was too fucking good. Oh, another great one. The weirdest one, one just... I ever saw is they had, like... It's something like lemon thieving, something L or other. Oh, lemon God, thief. Yeah, the whole plot is like that. The they have a bunch of like hot girls that are like lemon thieves, and these this <laughs> and couple they need just to be like. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. But oh, I, have you ever seen Scrubs at all? No, I missed the Scrubs train. Uh, like, uh, one of the characters, she has this fantasy of, like, um, running an apple orchard and catching an apple thief. It's... So, I'm, I'm not sure if, like, it's yeah. referencing the lemon thief thing. It depends how old it is, but, like, it's, it's a constant... It's pretty old. It's a constant fantasy she has. And as the show progresses, like, she starts living a little bit of it. I definitely gotta give Scrubs a watch one of these days. 
It's worth it, just don't watch the very last season. Oh, really? Uh, that, Did it well, yeah. become bad? Mm, what happened was... It was supposed to end, so they kind of, um, they did the ending. And then, I don't know, like, they agreed to do another season after it, so it's kind of like it does this very good ending. And then it's almost like a reboot where they tried to get a new cast and a new lead. And it just wasn't any good. They had, like, this transition oh, period where Zach Braff was still in the show. And then they were like, alright, let's, you know, sunset his character. He'll still be around, but, and then... That's it a was, shame. It was a, a girl, like a female lead, and she just wasn't funny. Like, it was just That's very... A it's hard to put it, like... Whenever she had to do, like, the fantasy scenes that Zach Braff did, she just sounded... You could, you could see the TV executive writing the, t the lines, basically. <laughs> That's the best way to describe yeah. it. So... Yeah. That's why I would say, like, just watch everything except the last season, because it, it actually wraps up like as like a real TV show. It's just that last season. Just ignore it. Right on. Good to know. I'll definitely remember that for when I do watch it. Yeah. It wraps up nicely if you ignore the last season. Oh, this one. You know what movie I've been wanting to see again that I haven't seen in a while? Mm. Black Dynamite. Oh man, I haven't seen that in a minute either. Yeah, that's a great movie. Just the way it's shot on old cameras and just... The purposeful, like, uh... Editing problems they put in it and everything. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a great one. Yeah. Wow. I'm having, like, the actual worst luck possible. Yeah, no way I make this one. Uh, I mean, you never know. It's 30. It's, so, it's quite a bit of wiggle room. Oh, wow, you're up to there, okay. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> okay, there. Oh, uh, you might. It depends how lucky you get here with the clustering. Oh, it's going to be close. To not. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> Bad luck. That might have been the most bad luck I've ever had on a run. I literally yeah. got hit by every, like, RNG based thing there was. Damn. Oh, no. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um... 
I, I have a pretty bad success rate with this one now. Man, I really want a peanut butter sandwich. Don't have peanut butter or, like, don't have bread? Oh, I have everything I need to, to have one. <laughs> Make it's it. a matter of going into the kitchen and making one. Well, what do you mean? So you much can... effort, man. Nah. <laughs> oh, oh gonna... wow. Yeah. Sometimes they just gang up on you, like you dodge one and then the other is already charging towards you. I feel like their AI is a lot more aggressive than it used to be. Okay. I gotta think about dinner, but not yet. I mean, if you want to go make yourself a sandwich, you can. Nah, I'll wait till you do dinner and I'll just do it at the same time. Alright. Oh, peanut butter banana sandwiches are the shit. Never tried. But I understand it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Americans get weirded out. I pretty much out never that. make a regular PB and J anymore. I always toast the bread. I was time. about to talk about a PB and J as well. Like, I find it funny that Americans think PB and J is a more widespread thing, but it's <laughs> no one has it. It's not a thing we do here, or like I don't think they're doing it in Europe either. Huh? Yeah. It's distinctly Is it American. It's just like straight up an American invention. It, I think it's something that only Americans eat. Yeah. Hmm. So, do you just not use peanut butter that often, or you just use it on other things? No, I mean, if we're gonna do peanut butter, it's just peanut butter. That's it. I know people you that do peanut, peanut butter, butter out of a jar. Uh, no. I know people that do, though. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Like, they just- they get a spoon. Yeah, I had a friend who did, like, peanut butter and honey. Yeah. And that was that... it. I was like, bro, that's- I mean, do you do you, but damn. I've heard that's a peanut... lot of, like, richness. Peanut butter, honey, peanut butter, banana, peanut butter, apple. Yeah, peanut butter and apple I've definitely done. I've had someone do peanut butter cheese as well, but I'm not sure about that one. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Shit. I'm way behind on this one again. Again? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm walking up. I fucking hate when Apple Music does that. It's like, you have an explicit version of the song, and then because it becomes unavailable, it replaces it with a clean version. Yeah, that's pretty wanna, annoying. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'll have to replace it. Holy shit, I actually made it. Good work. Actually, I might do a genre swap. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's do more vocally stuff.
Fuck, man. I haven't done anything music involved in a while. I need to get back on that. Learn some songs or something. Go to karaoke. Yeah. I mean, the pandemic was a bit of a bitch in terms of keeping stuff that you are used to do. Yeah, man. Absolute clusterfuck. Oh, it's not quite enough. I need to push it. Okay, now it's going to be enough. Oh, ah. <laughs> ah. It's unfortunate. Entrusting our lives to Daddy Rhino here. <laughs> oh, it's only one. Okay, that's fine. That's I I guess it's fine. This is manageable. Ah! I think the way this works is it just picks one person to target. <laughs> oh, that's what I mean, man. I think the rhino just decides it's your time eventually. Yeah. Because I've seen it go for the same person a couple times. Like, right now, it seems to be hunting down the dude in the Predator outfit. Just over and over again, like, I... I that's it. It does seem that way. Like, I'm standing still and it's not going for me. Yeah. Works for me. Yeah. I mean, if that's the case, that explains why it, when there's three of them, it just... It's horrible. Yep. They choose to team up. Oh, this one, okay. Alright! Alrighty then! <laughs> Thank you. 
is, uh, this seems to have more divisions than usual. I don't know, I miss the old version of this. I feel like there was more skill involved. This one has a higher survival rate now. It just becomes this thing where it's like, just at the end, that's where it all... Yeah. It's all just dependent on the jump and if you land it. Oh my god, the fucking Miku skin got me. Grab me like from a mile away in the air somehow. Yeah, I fucking hate that. I'll definitely heed that warning. Oh, I thought I was about to get punted. Oh, no! Damn it. Unfortunate. Yeah, should have gone slightly to the left. I was just worried. Close. Oh my god. Hmm? A person's skin. Oh, the alien? Yeah. It's part of the battle pass. Almost. I'm probably going to watch the ski tire jump. It's been a while since I've last seen it. Yeah, the only problem with that video is that the quality is ass now. Yeah, I mean, VHS quality. Yeah, but regardless, it's still entertaining. Yeah. Oh, this is the one with all the explosion wild cards. Yep. Ah. Snatched first. Oh, I did. There we go.
thinking about what to do for dinner now. <laughs> I have this disconnect mm. of what day it is. Yeah, not sure exactly what I'm going to eat either. What about... Well, other than the PB&J, that's, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was going to say. But you were decided on the PB and J. Kind of craving a grilled cheese too. I haven't had one of those in a long while. I have a book about grilled cheese. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, grilled cheese kitchen. That's what it's called, and it's just different fancy grilled cheese you can do. Not like Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese, but like uh. there's some pretty good ones. That's actually awesome. Yeah. How did you come across that? Uh, someone gave it to me for my birthday. Kind hey, of that's just a like pretty cool gift. a coffee table type book, you know? Yeah. I did try a couple of them to make them. They're pretty good. Which ones did you make? Uh, there was one that was like, uh, a fancy one that did bechamel. Almost like a croque monsieur, but not really. Oh. That was pretty good. I would like that book. If there's another one for mac and cheese, I'd be all over that. I think the book has mac like and cheese. Like different versions of mac and cheese. I'm not sure where it is right now. I think it's in the kitchen. Oh no, here it is. I found it. Grilled cheese kitchen. So it does bread, cheese, and everything in between. So like... Um, let me... Go through the table of contents. All right, here we go. So, the classic breakfast grilled cheese. Breakfast in bed grilled cheese. Breakfast popper grilled cheese. Farmer's breakfast grilled cheese. Bre breakfast piglet grilled cheese. Green eggs and ham grilled cheese. Huevos royando grilled cheese. Sunday brunch grilled cheese. And then there's like... Grilled cheese sandwiches. So they have the mac, mac and cheese grilled cheese, ultimate California grilled cheese. Fucking yes. There's quite a few. Like Turk grilled turkey. Yeah. I mean, if you're feeling yeah. adventurous, I can give you one of the recipes. <laughs> Might take you up on that. Although, I might have to go to the store and get cheese before I can actually make it. I don't know if we have enough cheese right now to do it. Fuck. No way! Ah! Nah, I think I'm out. There's no way. Like, I'm at the back of the pack and this is just chaos here. I keep bumping into people trying to jump. Yep, definitely out, without question. Just had a bad run. Fuck. Yeah. And I also could not make it happen. Only what you need from it. Let's see what else. I'll read them out. Mousetrap grilled cheese, whatever that is. Basque sheep grilled cheese. Mushroom gruyere. Moscone. Feta... Okay, feta fetish sounds bad, but that's what it is. <laughs> black, black bean and fresh corn grilled cheese. 
The catch, Ooh. which I assume is fish. Foghorn leghorn grilled cheese, I assume is chicken. Moroccan chicken grilled cheese. Indian leftovers grilled cheese. The Bro Witch Project grilled cheese. Club turkey grilled cheese. Wild turkey grilled cheese. Thanksgiving leftovers grilled cheese. Jalapeno popper grilled cheese. Piglet grilled cheese. The Hawaiian grilled cheese. What's the, in that one? The Cubano, hang on. Truffle grilled cheese with bacon and chives. Butternut Buster grilled cheese. Don Gondola grilled cheese. The Pizza Witch. The Muffaletta roast beef and blue cheese. Windy City American Dip grilled cheese. St. Patrick's Day. Rubenesque grilled cheese. Grilled cheese birthday cake. And then the rest is like soup and mac and cheese. And then like how to make pickles, spreads, and sides. Oh, yeah. That um, the Hawaiian awesome. one. Give me a sec. There's Hawaiian. pineapple in it. I'm going to be fucking angry. <laughs> 71. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it is what you expect it to be. So it's four slices of fresh pineapple, six to eight oh, slices of ripe plum tomato, uh, salted butter, four slices of Hawaiian bread. What the fuck does that mean? Slightly sweet white bread, I guess is what they're calling it. Um, Fontina cheese, ham, mozzarella cheese, and pepper flakes. Hmm. Probably pretty good, but I'm so angry that they put pineapple in. Yeah, uh, I mean, look, it's expected. Uh, yeah, by Hawaiian bread, I assume they mean, like, sweet Hawaiian bread, which is actually Portuguese sweet bread. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it, it said, sweet bread, so. Yeah. Shit's pretty good. Alright, the mac and cheese grilled cheese. Let me see that. 42. Oh, this this just... I can feel my arteries clogging just looking at this. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's just like... Basically, make some mac and cheese and then do the whatever you do for a grilled cheese. Literally that. Hmm. Um, this one sounds good, though. It's like, a uh, spicy egg grilled cheese. It's pretty good. Ooh. You ever I made might... an egg in a basket? An egg in a basket? I don't think I have. It's like when you take, like bread and then you cut a hole in it and you cook like you fry the piece of bread with the egg in the middle oh okay yeah yeah i've done that before i've i've taken it one step further um leftover pizza do the same thing just cut a hole in the slice of leftover pizza you have yourself breakfast Ooh. pizza yeah you took a different step forward than i did i just would make those and then make a sandwich out of those no nah, like the breakfast pizza style it's great And then the bottom part of the pizza becomes crispy. Yeah. Sounds fucking good. Yeah. I just made a breakfast sandwich, but instead of, like, having, uh, you know, like, scrambled eggs in the middle, I just made both breads an egg in the basket. Ah. Put all the meat and stuff in the middle of them. It's just like a runny breakfast sandwich. It's fucking good. Yeah, nice. There's definitely some interesting stuff in this book. It's a pretty nice book as well. <laughs> but it's nothing in comparison to Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese. No, of course not. That grilled cheese was Michelin star, dude. Yeah. Can't beat that. Fuck. 
Have you seen... He does a lot of, like, uh, short top form videos. Mm -hmm. Gordon. There's ones where he, like, reacts to TikTok cook cooking trends. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. They're pretty entertaining. Fuck. Yeah, his TikTok is actually just pretty entertaining. Yeah. He does some stuff with his daughter, too, which I could just appreciate on a yeah. different level. Seeing his daughter trips me out. She featured quite a bit in his uh, documentaries and stuff. Yeah. What else have we got here that could be a potential interest? Jeez, they even go down to the explanation of, like, breads and cheese. Apricot jalapeno relish? Okay. Apple mustard. Oh, dude, there's, like, a barbecue chicken mac that looks really good. Fuck me up. Do you, do you have, um, charcoal chicken over there? Or, like, I guess it's chick rotisserie chicken that's cooked over hot coals. Yeah, I've definitely heard about that. I wouldn't know where to get it off the top of my head, though. They're pretty, uh... Really they're pretty common here. And the, oh, that's good. It's good stuff. I kind of doubt usually, it's as common here as it is there. It's usually you just get with some fries or something. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. And it's probably one of the cheaper foods you can get outside of pizza. They're moving it. Okay. Just gonna have to. Ugh. <laughs> no. Oh my fucking god, why are they I... pushing it that way? I think I'm doomed. I think I'm definitely doomed here. Hang on, the... look over look over there. This is probably the smarter choice here. There we go. Jesus we go. fucking Christ. Yeah, it's, it's too much. Oh my god. Too much pandemonium on that side. I went to the other side and it worked for me. Sweet. It just, it wasn't going anywhere. Oh, I barely fucking made it in. I was like, like 16 or 17. What is- I'm curious. Breakfast piglet grilled cheese, 28. Probably like, little sausages or something? Let's see. <laughs> Salted butter, uh, minced rosemary, rustic artisan bread, apple mustard, Sharp cheddar cheese, ham, two eggs, kosher salt, black pepper. Okay, the ham, I guess, is where the piglets come from. Yeah. I mean, some of the names are... It's like... Also, <laughs> the same apple basic... mustard I've never heard of. They have a recipe for it. I'll look, I'll look into it. They have the same base ingredients. Like, cheese, ham, egg... Some of them do get fancy, they go mushrooms. Which I think they're that can be pretty good. I think some of them are probably in danger of getting a little bit too fancy with it. I don't think they're too fancy to the point where it's like, okay, this is like luxury chef ingredients. But I mean, they give you ideas, like you don't have to use what they use.
Yeah, I'm sure in some cases you could replace, you know, X ingredient with a different thing and it'll be fine. Yeah. As long as the cheese melts. <laughs> yeah. That's the main fucking, that's, that's the main done. fucking point of the sandwich. <laughs> What's he talking about? Clearly the sandwich has to be fragrant, aromatic, beautiful. Look at how it just glistens in the sunlight. Oh god. And you hear that fucking gorgeous crunch. I'm waiting. Ah! Fuck you, Hammer Roomba! Fuck off! No! Oh my god! No! Uh, I did not make Why? the same Why? Facing the other guy just changed his mind. I'm not gonna say anything about them because last time I did, I got instant repercussion. Yeah, you got fucking like, instant karma. Divine intervention just fucked me right away. Like mid sentence. Okay, on my own, we're good. Right, so apple mustard. Give me a sec. There's gotta be some fuckery happening there, because I don't think the combination of just apples <laughs> would be good. Uh, yeah, maybe. Apple mustard, 160. Okay, one sec. Uh, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one medium yellow onion cut in two quarters, and then diced. Kosher salt, uh, stone ground mustard, apple butter. See page oh, 160. Butter? Apple butter. Okay, see part. So now it's like a two parter. And then apple butter. Apparently, I have to source it from somewhere specifically. Apple butter from this place called Kozlo. Some place, it seems like it's a, it's a hipster thing. I have to fucking see this. Yeah, I, I have a URL. Kozlowski. I don't know, it's like a Polish name. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I'm like... Oh. Blanking out. It starts with a K. There's a couple recipes to make it. It also looks like I can just go get it at Safeway if I wanted to. Yeah. Right, you should be able to buy it. But I guess they're recommending, like, an organic source. So what is it? Is it just like they melt butter and then probably mix it with apple puree or something? This recipe says six and a half pounds apples peeled, cored mm. and sliced. And then what, sauteed or is it like made into like a apple sauce, I guess? Sure. Have a cup of sugar and brown sugar, cinnamon, salt, vanilla extract. It sounds like Place an apple the apples sauce. in a slow cooker. Oh. Uh, yeah, so it, it, you're effectively making an apple sauce, aren't you? If you're slow cooking them, they're going to turn into mush. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Miscalculation. But I guess really I, the only difference between apple butter and apple sauce is that apple butter is cooked longer to give it like. But it doesn't it doesn't involve butter at all then. So you're not mixing yeah. it with butter. It's not like a garlic butter, for example, that it's just melted down butter and then you reconstitute it with uh, like whatever garlic and spices you want to put in it. 
Yeah, I think they just changed, like, more than anything else, they just changed the cooking time to give it a different, like, more of a consistency of a butter. Right. So it's basically just apples, like, made in a yeah. certain way. Um, interesting. I mean, shit, it's probably pretty good, but... Just buy it. <laughs> yeah. I'm I've not about to make it. it, exactly. I've never heard of it. But yeah, and then use that to make mustard, like, what? <laughs> It's basically yeah, mis mixing weird. that with mustard plus, like, onion. So I guess it becomes, like, a relish. Yeah. Ultimately. It kind of just makes me want chutney. The fucking mango chutney is so fucking... Chutney's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> I'm torturing you, aren't I? It's okay, I'm torturing myself a little bit here. Yeah, you don't, it's fun, because I have food. So we'll, you don't have to the torture look at will the end picture. eventually. You don't have to look at the pictures I'm looking at. Oh, right. And then Q. Just seeing what else there is. I mean, some of these soups are pretty good. Coconut carrot soup? What is this? That actually sounds good. Salted butter, onion, uh, carrots... Garlic clove, ground ginger, curry powder, coriander, mustard powder, chicken stock, uh, Thai coconut milk, orange juice, yeah. kosher salt. Yeah, that salt. sounds fucking good. It does. It's probably easy to, it's pretty easy to make. I kind Just, of have a bias against carrots that have been pureed or like in a soup though unfortunately no these are like cut and it kind of grosses me out the, these are cubed carrots not like pureed okay well that's good i have a trauma memory with fucking pureed carrots yeah. kind of sad too because Carrot soup is fucking good. Can't say I've had it too many times. I mean, I like the uh, potato and leek. They're pretty good. Or like, uh, there's a prawn soup. It's pretty good. Mmm. Growing up, we had the, uh, like, uh, bean soup, which was pretty decent. It had rice and carrot in it, and then beans. And then you oh, kind of, yeah, like... Oh, that sounds pretty nice. You, crumb, you put crumbed feta cheese on top, and it melts into the soup, and it's pretty nice. I didn't appreciate it initially as a kid, but then later, it was like, yeah, it's good soup. Man, a good tomato soup goes really hard, too, actually. Yeah. It's a difficult one to do because some they end up acidic. Pretty acidic. Yeah. When it's done right, though, for sure. Yeah. From what I heard, broccoli soup is good, too. But, like... Oh, yeah. A simple one. Yeah, broccoli soup, I think it's one of those things there's no need to overcomplicate it. Yeah. Like, it's pretty much just putting the water that you cook the broccoli in into the soup. Like... Yeah. And then just basic seasoning. No cream or anything. Fuck! Didn't qualify. <laughs> Did you qualify? Yeah, I made it through that one. Yeah. Good luck. I might look into food now. <laughs> uh, I was talking about the roast chicken. I think I'm gonna get roast chicken. The old charcoal chicken.
<laughs> oh, this one. Orders in. The ham sandwich I had for breakfast just, like, isn't cutting it. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't eaten anything since those tacos. So this Thanksgiving leftovers one, it's like... You take cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, roast turkey, and then some gravy. And then I guess you use the gravy for dipping. But then it's like, it's basically mashed potatoes and roast turkey in the middle with cheese and cranberry sauce. God. Yeah. I can't see any reason to ever do that any other time other than Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's left It's for leftovers. Like, if you want to yeah. do a grilled cheese with the leftovers, that's what it tells you to do. Yeah, like, that's, that's the only time you'd have all of that stuff on hand, I think. Well, for us, we don't have it. <laughs> There's no Thanksgiving here. Yeah. Although for Christmas, like, uh... The old people, I guess, like turkey. It's always a fight. It's kind of like, they want turkey, but we want chicken. I mean, a good turkey is good. Like, I'm not denying it, but like... When you compare it to chicken, it's always going to be drier in comparison. It doesn't matter how good you do it. Yeah. If you have, like, chicken at its peak and has been, you know, done properly and you do the same thing with turkey, like, as in, you know, the best outcome for either, the chicken will always win in terms of which one isn't dry by comparison. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's okay. You got you got time. Oh, or not? <laughs> well then, looks like you're out. Yep. Got much on for the next couple of days because you got them off, right? Oh shit! Yeah, I don't really have any on. plans. It dropped you. Ugh. I mean, it's fine to do nothing. Like, I think that's underrated. Yeah, that's pretty much my plan, unless my friend summoned me or something. Yeah, for some sense. shit. Playing it by ear. Fuck, man, sometime this week I'm gonna have to get my hands on everything I need for a dope grilled cheese tomato <laughs> soup as well. That combination is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. You dip and a grilled cheese in a good tomato soup, it's fucking just heavenly. I was gonna say, that's something It's not, like, we don't really do dipping. Like, if we have soup, it's just bread that you dip in, but not like a whole sandwich. Nah, dude, you gotta send the whole sandwich into that shit, dude. I'm, I understand it, like, the cheese. I get it. Yeah. 
But it's it's just something so like decadent, I guess. Well, yeah, it's certainly not something you want to do all the time. Yeah. But if we're talking about, like, overindulgent American shit, there's certainly worse shit than that. Yeah, no, I know. I've been introduced to a few of them. Yeah. You ever like heard anybody who about anybody who like dips their pizza in fucking ranch? No, what? That's a thing. Yeah, that's a, that is a thing. Oh my god! I mean, I knew Americans liked ranch, but fucking hell, dude. Yeah, it's never really been my thing. I've tried it, and I kind of hated it, to be honest. Yeah, I tried it once out of curiosity, and I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, like I can see it. It's not that I, it doesn't, like, make sense to a certain degree, it's just, I like, can't. too much. It's just, like... It kind of, like, kills the, the, like... I think ranch makes the most sense to me to, like, dumb down the spice or something, almost like how blue cheese does. Yeah, exactly. But for everything? Nah, man. I don't know. I think it- I think it destroys the integrity of the pizza, you know? Well, I know, like, in Europe they have, uh, some places they will put ketchup on top. Of pizza? Yeah, yeah, so they'll get a slice and then put ketchup on top. What the fuck? Like, just sort of, like, drizzle it on top. Nah, man. It's no different than, like, when people do, uh, hollandaise or... Aioli on a pizza drizzle, or barbecue sauce. Uh. But it is, it is something, yeah. Like, growing up, a lot of people I knew did that. I mean, to each their own, I just don't think I'd like it at all. Yeah, it's like, it, I kind of agree. You're taking, like, a pizza sauce, which is arguably better in quality, to something that is effectively sugar tomato water. Yeah. Like, why? It's already got a good tomato sauce if it's a good pizza. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I guess maybe it's sweeter and it just mix. I can understand the sweet salt thing. Yeah. I, don't know. I remember somebody said, uh. What was it? Fucking. Like, uh. Fuck, what was it? It's another weird pizza thing. Damn, I can't, can't think of what it was. It'll come to me. Okay. Oh. There's one in particular that I'm hoping you'll say, but I'm not I'm not gonna lead you to it. Oh, it's maple syrup, that's what it was. Oh really? No, I've never heard of that. Is, that can't be Canadian. That has to be something that, like, no, Americans no, no, no. did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I doubt it in any case. I don't know for sure, to be fair. Because, I mean, I'm sure you mean, like, the maple syrup that is effectively sugar with, like, artificial maple flavoring, yeah. right? Not the true mm. maple syrup, because that's different. No, yeah, just, like, just... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, did I fuck you? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't you almost mind. did. Oh no, I the Roomba. Oh god, it's a punch Roomba. Go, 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 go. go. <laughs> that alligator guy, oh no. Um. Take first. What the f- Oh my god, I actually made it. Holy fuck, mm. that was lucky. It's down to four. I feel like this one's a little unfair. Like, look at the ratio of how many people got wiped out on that one. Yeah, that one was definitely a calling. I think they need to slow it down ever so slightly for that last part. Not by much. Yeah, just chill it out just a little bit. Yeah. I've seen a couple of circumstances where that one ends up being the finale because only one person makes it. <laughs> oh, what was the pizza one, though, that you're talking about? 
Oh, I thought you were going to mention, like, the banana curry. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, the maple syrup one is, like, it's one of those, it doesn't sound bad, it just sounds like too much. Like, oh, too I mean, indulgent I, for me. I can, I can understand it, like... In lieu of, like, a sweet barbecue sauce, it's kind of like you have one that's just, I guess, bacon. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I've got fine. the thing Fucking bumped hot me. Dog. Hot dogs being a grabby shit, too. I gotta stay away from yeah, them. Yeah, just stay oh. to your own zone. Yep. Get away from the hot dog. Ooh. Oh, uh, hey, let's go. Eat shit, hot dog, motherfucker. <laughs> we'll keep going until they... Oh, excuse me. Ugh, Is that a dust. sneeze? Yeah, like dust went in my nose and like it was half a sneeze. Ah, uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't think your it sneezes went in. are very quiet. My sneezes are violent every time. I, I did kind of like move my face away from the mic, so. I have like loud, bombastic, like dad sneezes. So oh, just like ah, yeah. every time. Yeah, I yeah. can't help it. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I mean, mine's a, mine are not loud, but that one I did turn away from the mic. Um, I'll keep going until, like, the delivery starts. Cool. So whenever that is, it could be, like, one or two more. Right on. Yeah, whenever you jump off, I'll just go grab food, too. Yeah. Do the food thing. I'll probably watch some stuff in Discord. Just been watching Family Guy. <laughs> It's ever since you, st you were singing the American Dad thing, I'm like, ah, it got stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah, I have both of those themes just dedicated to memory. I mean, dude's pretty talented. Like, it's one thing to be good at singing, it's another one to, like, be able to do different voices and sing in those voices. Yeah. Now it's just. Eh. I always just have a favor for those tunes because they just seem like me. They seem like a big show tune too, so I definitely like them on that sense too. Yeah, I mean, he has uh, like one of those classic voices. Oh yeah. Like old timey radio. Mhm. Mm Um, his sister's a pretty good singer as well, like, sh she plays Haley on American Dad. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. They both can sing. Fuck. Big fan fucked me. I got through without getting hit, surprisingly. Yeah. Mm. No! Oh, okay, well, that kind of works. That's, that's, oh, 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 oh. It's all part of the plan. I'm not going to make it, am I? No, you're good. Oh, no, just, no. just. Second last in. Yep.
short circuit. Okay, driver's on the way. Oh boy, it's well to say. <laughs> I love the ending bit of that. I think the end is the my favorite part of that song. Yeah, the oh boy, it's well to say. Good morning, USA. The way the horns go. <laughs> it's satisfying. Like the chorus of people singing that last bit too. Good morning, USA. Yeah, it definitely has. I would like, love to be part of that chorus singing that or something. Yeah, awesome. That's one person. I just going around in a circle and can't get out of it. In the Fuck low gravity, the just wait for it, yeah. And then you can just jump over this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow, that guy that grabbed me actually fucked me over. Yeah, you are at touching the finish line. Just beat you for like a split second. It's unfortunate. Diving over the finish line makes a difference. Apparently. On yeah. my screen, he was still behind me, but I guess this wasn't what was actually happening there. Yeah. Ugh, it's the Rhino one. If it's a three rhino one, this is gonna be a bloodbath. Okay, it's one rhino. Look at all these YouTubers. Ooh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Don't you do it! <laughs> Seems oh, like it. You, yeah, yeah. Yep, no, 100% after me. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. Change targets. Good. <laughs> no, no. Okay.
Not as many people as I thought it was going to eliminate. Oh, okay. Gonna have to take out basically half. This is all gonna come down to luck. Oh, mm, melons. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Nice. Sweet. Reminded me of that scene in Liar Liar. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> He's in the elevator with the chick. And she's oh, got like, a. That everyone's she's been welling really down, nice. shall we say? Yeah. yeah. Man, one of my favorite parts of those old Jim Carrey movies was always mm. the blooper reels. Yeah. Always so good. Just Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey. I mean, I want to squeeze him. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> man, man. <laughs> <laughs> just devolves into like a baby. <laughs> uh. Fuck, man. So the good. one, the one in me, myself, and Irene is like way more direct. He just like there's a woman breastfeeding, and walks by her, then does a double take, and then next scene he's he's the one breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude! Just the shock humor in that one. Oh, there's a fan. Right, okay. Jeez. Okay, one of the bloopers from uh from that one always got me really good too. He's like Which he's one? in a court scene, he forgets his line and he just like smashes up the paper he's holding. <laughs> like it's a goose. Oh yeah. <laughs> This one is extra hard. Boy. Ooh, okay. Fan first. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of have to hang here, so then you give yourself, like, as much time as possible. Oh, how did that person survive? There we go. Oh, this one might be awkward timing. Okay, jump first. Jump here, fan. Oh. This is gonna get way more awkward. Person's a player. I'm like just trying to keep my distance. Guy's a gamer. Yes. Nice. <laughs> ah! And ending on a high note. Hell yeah. Take that win. Fucking solid GG to that guy.
Yeah. Game grab, gotta respect no. it. Yeah, yeah. Took it down to skill. All about the platforming in the end. Yeah. All right. Yes. Gonna wrap up the stream for whoever's still in chat. So, if you're here for Fall Guys, thanks for watching. All right. See y'all.